Hey everyone, Tim Allen Milam Jr. here with Milam Asylum Alcohol. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get all my notifications. Um, today, I am bringing to you something I have tried in. They got a bunch of flavors, but I haven't done this flavor and I've done many many cinnamon flavors because I'm a big cinnamon whiskey type of guy I don't mind uh, cinnamon apple whiskey at all or apple whiskey at all um, that product is probably my second choice but I will always go for a fire type of flavor because I like that sweet cinnamon flavor and slight whiskey burn it's just a great combination. They really got their shit together when they when they created that stuff. Anyways, today I'm bringing to you guys a company called Bird Dog. Okay, hot cinnamon flavored whiskey, forty percent alcohol per volume. Okay, so that's that eighty proof. No. 35 is 70 proof, 40 is, uh, anyways, um, Bowling Green, Kentucky, they have new product information, just burn dog, burn dog, burn dog. Anyways, 80 proof. There it is. I'm a fucking idiot. So 40%, 80 proof, 35%, 70 proof. I mean, arrhythmic, arrhythmically, it doesn't make sense, but whatever. So, uh, opening this product. Oh, look at these. These guys were nice. Look at that. They gave us perforated plastic. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, bird dog. You're looking out for the small guys. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what she said. Anyways, and then she left. Um So they put this sticker on here to tell you that it's fresh. Um and that's what uh um That's what uh, the other company does, Crater Lake, Crater Lake Vodka, or Crater Lake product in general, except they put their number on there, like um, employee number, like who did it, and I think product number, so you know you're getting something of the highest quality standard. Now, Bird Dog really looks like they love what they do. Like, they take care of their shit. I mean, they have a fucking pretty cool, symmetrical, unique bottle. I mean, it's basically it's virtually flawless. I mean, whoever does their... their uh, I don't know how you display it. They're bottling whoever makes their product. I mean, they they really want it to be unique. I mean, this was twenty dollars. Okay. I mean, they even have a real wood lid with a cork. Now I haven't pulled this out yet to see if we're getting a real cork, but as far as I can see through this glass, it's real. Let's, shh, listen, that's my favorite part. You guys already know that. Shh. Ah, oh, they failed. 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 You know what that means, right? You guys know what that means? You know what that means? Shh. Tell me what that means. It means that there was air in this product the entire time and it wasn't being sealed up. So when this cork comes in and pulls out and it doesn't make that 
it means that this product is not fresh. That's just a fact. So I'm drinking an unfresh product, but it's alcohol. I don't give, really give a shit. <clears throat> so here I go. I can really smell it from here. So I'm getting cinnamon, isopropyl, and caramel. I'm getting caramel also. And some slight nutmeg. But like I said, these people, they don't have any, any information. Like they take all this pride in their artwork, their illustration, their their thing and make sure their labels on pretty eh, it's off but then they go through all the the work of this nice um lacquered wood lid and a real cork that's not tight enough to create a vacuum seal anyways so we are going to give it a taste and see if the quality of the product is equal to the quality of its container. Because chances are you could just be paying for the container. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm not getting a cheap cardboard whiskey flavor that most alcohol contains. I'm not getting an isopropyl flavor either. I am getting cinnamon, but it's not like the best. Um, this one's getting a first number six, solid six. That's my review. Thanks for tuning in. Fuck off.